As you start developing more complicated scripts, you'll want to document them, and why not do so in a way that looks and feels like the same help files that PowerShell's own commandlets provide? The way to do that is to create a block comment. Let's make that a little bit larger so you can see it. It's just an angle bracket and a pound character open the block and close the block. Within the block, you'll use special keywords that start with a period to define different sections of the help file. You can see that I've provided two uses examples, and I've also defined a parameter named computer name. That corresponds to the parameter that's actually defined in the parameter block for this script. I've named the script get-biosinfo. So just to prove that this is working, let's actually go down to the console. You can see the get-biosinfo script, and I can run it, get-biosinfo, provide a computer name, like localhost, and it runs. But let's try asking for help on get BIOS info. You can see that PowerShell has read those specially formatted comments and constructed a help screen that looks pretty much like a real commandlets help screen, although I don't see my examples on here. Ah, well, that's right. In order to get usage examples, we would have to put dash example behind the help command. And then it breaks them down, numbers them one and two, and so forth. So it really kind of takes all the work out of it. You just put the information in correctly formatted comments and you're good to go. And it supports all the different variations of help, including full, where it's actually reading my computer name parameter and displaying what information it can, such as the fact that it is in the first position, as well as all those examples. Now, to get more information about that, look at help about comment based help and you'll get a list of all the different keywords that are supported for this comment-based help, such as description, parameter, example, and so forth. There's a whole bunch in here that you can use, and there's a lot of examples of how to use them.